in the next session we are going to see the trigonometric ratios how will be applied in the various problems first problem i am taking is cos b is equal to 1 upon 3 find other trigonometric ratios now cos b that means angle b you cannot take it as a right angle this ratios are for acute angles if b is becomes a right angle then the ratio would come out so i have taken here c as a right angle and b i am taking it here i am taking this angle cos b is equal to 1 upon 3 as per the ratios cos is adjacent upon hypotenuse so your adjacent is some ratio that is you can even take the ratio that 1k 3k but for the easier purpose i am taking it as adjacent as 1 if i am taking this b as angle this side will become the adjacent and the other side ac will become the opposite hypotenuse is the line side opposite to 90 adjacent is 1 Hypotenuse is three. Now first we will find out AC. AC square is equal to AB square minus B. BC square. AB square minus BC square. Three square nine minus one eight. So. BC will AC square root a two root two. Keep it here two root two. That will be your AC. Now I want to find out the other trigonometric ratios. Cos B is given. Sin B. Sin B will become opposite. Upon hypotenuse, opposite is your two root two upon three. Sine ten b. Ten b is equal to opposite upon adjacent. Opposite is two root two upon one. Now the reciprocal of sine will be cosec. Reciprocal of sine, so cosec b will be the reciprocal of this sine, so three upon two root two. In this way, if you are doing one ratio, you can find out the other ratios. Now the next question is, cosec a is root ten. Find the trigonometric ratios. Here the angle, acute angle is A. So I have taken B as 90. Mark this angle P. The angle should always be on the adjacent. So adjacent, opposite, and hypotenuse. Cosec A is root 10. That is the formula is. The ratio is your hypotenuse upon opposite. Hypotenuse is root ten. Hypotenuse understood one, so opposite becomes your one. Now find out AB square is equal to AC square minus. This is AB will find out. AB square is equal to AC square root ten square. That will become ten minus BC is one. One square is one nine. AB is equal to square root of nine. That is three. So we got this side as three. Now all the three sides are known. Now we can find out all the trigonometric ratios. 
sin a. Sin a, it is opposite upon hypotenuse. 1 upon root 10. Cos a. Cos a is adjacent upon hypotenuse. Adjacent 3, hypotenuse root 10. Reciprocal of sin cosec. Cosec a just do the reciprocal root 10 upon 1. Reciprocal of cos a sec a. Sec a is equal to root 10 upon 3. Ten a. Ten a is equal to opposite upon adjacent. 1 upon 3. Cot A is the reciprocal of 10, 3 upon 3. So easily by finding out all the sides and angles, you can find all the trigonometric ratios. Now next example, if sec alpha is 5 upon 4. Now alpha is a Greek word which I have taken unknown angle A as alpha. Sec alpha B I have taken it as 90. This is alpha. So the angle should always be on the adjacent. So this becomes adjacent opposite. Hypotenuse. Set alpha is equal to 3 upon 4. The ratio of sec alpha is your hypotenuse upon adjacent. Hypotenuse becomes 3 and sec alpha 5 by 4. So it is sorry, 5 by 4. So hypotenuse becomes 5 and adjacent becomes 4. 5 and 4. By Pythagoras, we will find out BC square. BC square is equal to 5 square minus 4 square. 25 minus 16 is 9. Therefore, BC is root of 9, that is 3. So, we got BC as 3. You have to find out cos alpha, cosec alpha, tan alpha and sec. So, it is a basic if you want to find out, you can just write down differently. Cos alpha, it is adjacent upon hypotenuse, 4 upon 5. Cosec alpha, cosec alpha is your hypotenuse upon opposite, 5 upon 3. Hypotenuse upon opposite, 10 alpha, 10 alpha, it is opposite upon adjacent, 3 upon 4. And set alpha is already given to you. We will put this value here to evaluate. Cos alpha 4 upon 5 into cos alpha 5 upon 3 plus 10 alpha 3 upon 4 into set alpha 5 upon 4. So whatever the ratios are there, you will put the value in it. This 5 tensors. 4 upon 3 plus 15 upon 16. You just take out the LCM. You will get 16 as LCM. Add it, you will get 109. So 109 upon 16 is the numerical value of this. The fourth example based on this is if 5 10 alpha is equal to 4, show that 5 sin alpha minus 3 cos alpha upon 5 sin alpha plus 2 cos alpha is 1 by 6. 5 10 alpha is equal to 4. 10 alpha is equal to 4 upon 5. We will draw a right triangle ABC. Taking this as alpha, this becomes adjacent opposite and hypotenuse. 10 alpha 4 upon 5 4 
opposite upon adjacent. Opposite is 4, adjacent is 5. Find out AC by using Pythagoras. AC square is equal to 4 square plus 5 square, 25 plus 16, that is 41. Therefore, AC will become root 41. Now, sine alpha, we will find sine alpha. So, we have to find out the value of sine alpha. Sine alpha is opposite upon hypotenuse, 4 upon root 41. Cos alpha, cos alpha adjacent upon hypotenuse, 5 upon root 41. So, both the values we have found out. Ratios sine alpha and cos alpha. Now what we have to prove? 5 sine alpha minus 3 cos alpha. 5 into sine alpha 4 upon root 41 minus 3 into 5 upon root 41 upon 5 into 4 upon root 41 plus 2 into 5 upon root 41. Keeping the values. 5 fours are 20 root 20 root 41 minus 50 root 41 upon 20 root 41 plus 10 root 41. Denominators are same. It will become 20 minus 15, 5 upon root 41 upon 20 plus 10, 30 upon root 41. Root 41 cancels. So it will become 5 upon 30, 1 upon 6. Hence proof 1 upon 6. Now the next question is in triangle PQR. We are taking a triangle PQR. PQR triangle angle Q I am taking as 90. PR plus QR is 25. PR plus QR is 25. PQ is given as 5. So first we place PQ as 5. PR plus QR 25. The sum is 25. If I am taking QR as X, QR I am taking it as X. So, PR will become 25 minus X. If I am keeping QR as X, so PR will become 25 minus X. We will find out the value of X, apply Pythagoras. PR square is equal to PQ square plus QR square. P PR square 25 minus X whole square is equal to 5 square plus x square. Whole square formula identity 625 minus 50x plus x square is equal to 25 plus x square. x square cancels. Minus 50x is equal to minus 600. x is equal to 600 upon 50 that is 12. So we got x as 12. We will put it here 12. Now pi is 25 minus 12 that will become 30. So we got all the three sides of a right triangle. The determine sine p, sine p. When I will take sine p, this will become your adjacent. And this will become your opposite. So sine P will become opposite upon hypotenuse. Your opposite is 12 and hypotenuse is 30. Cos P. Cos P will become adjacent upon hypotenuse 5 upon 30. When the angle R comes, 
the things changes when r is there so this will become opposite and this will become adjacent so sin tan r tan r is opposite upon adjacent your opposite has become 5 and adjacent is 12 so 5 upon 12 will be the ratio